time Looking for a way we can stay divine No, it ain't right, so we change minds I don't wanna try to say that it's a major crime Too late to rise from the bottom up I'll call your bluff behind the closed doors Communicate like Morse code and so forth It's unknown when the torch light leads to your home And they play with lies for our own good Self-destructive notions Hard to mind closer With the price to pay to fight the way to never lie To make a dime and never leave a trace of crime Your face begins to say it's otherwise What's up, YouTube? This is Dark Styles video here, coming at you with my latest video review. This one is for a game I have been waiting for since last year, and it is the demo of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. This demo came out a long while back, and it was only supposed to be for about five days, but due to popular demand, the demo has been stretched out until the first of the month. Now, there's a few things you gotta know about this game. They reworked this battle system from the ground up. I mean reworked, I mean, they did a lot to this battle system. Some of it for the better, some of it for the worse. Now, there's three different battle types. There is the awakening type, where you can go to your you know your quick awakening wait I, I would say if you're using Mecha Naruto you go into your quick awakening which mainly looks like a mechanized version of four tails Naruto okay it works just like how quick awakening works in full burst or storm 3 and then you get the true awakening it is kind of like what they did in, you know, Full Burst and Storm 3 as well. You go into your true awakening, which is your giant awakening. Except the entire stage changes in an epic way and makes the fight look just that much more intense. And I love that. But some of these awakenings are overpowerful because Sasuke, for example, he can still be way overpowered because sometimes with some of the giant awakenings you can still do your support to help you out you can still do your counters to counter somebody that's attacking you you can still do your guard breaks it's i hope cc2 has listened to everyone complaining about this and they are going to fix this in some kind of an update before the official game releases. Now the next one I want to talk about is the drive type. Personally, I love the drive type, but even I have to say at times it can be overpowering on the defensive side. Drive type basically is an automatic version of when you choose your your support characters from you know Storm 3 or Full Burst and you can make them be either attack, guard, or support. This basically makes it do all three, all for you automatically, if you want them to. Um, when you charge up your chakra, instantly come up and help block for you. But their defense can sometimes be a little too strong. But they did do something to balance that because when they take a hit, they really take a hit hard to the point where they're dead for quite a long time, it takes a while for them to come back up. And they can get hit by kunai, it can kill them, jutsu, just charging at them gives them damage as well. So they're not too overpowered, but some of the things they can do are. Um, you can stop someone's ultimate jutsu gauge, or completely keep someone from ever going to their full awakening by their seal ability. Now to do a seal ability, you basically have to get your chakra gauge and your support gauge all the way up. And then hit triangle three times, or I think, I guess Y three times if you're on the, um, you know, 360. And for the PC, I don't know the control scheme, so I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but all you have to do is you know, charge up three times till you're in that red and hit that, you know, hit that attack button and go at them. But one thing is when you charge at them so you can do the seal, 
distance from where you are to where you charge at them is significantly shorter. <laughs> so you have to gauge that carefully, but it causes damage, keeps them from doing, you know, Ultra Jutsus or um, Full Awakenings, and I think it's a very nice tool for them to use. They can't use Awakenings, so it limits them on that. So there is some balancing on that as well that I like. And so that effectively, in a tight nutshell, simply put, is drive type. Now, there's the ultimate jutsu type, which basically, that's the type that's able to use, you know, in a nutshell. Um, they can charge up their chakra gauge halfway using ultimate jutsu, or they're able to, once their support gauge is all the way up, use a team ultimate jutsu, which does a ton of damage. That, I like that sometimes, only when I'm Naruto, because it, it's really fun to use that one, because I love how explosive the thing can get. Um, so those are the three battle types that they introduced. Now, with playing online on these types, you'll run into a lot of people that'll do a lot of weird try to spam, but when you spam in this game, it's really easy to punish spammers. Really easy. If you know exactly what you're doing. And the game kind of helps balance it when it comes to the spamming and people countering the spam. With the counter system that they just put in place, um, they have a much better guard break now. But there's some characters, even in this demo, that's still overpowered. This Naruto flick maneuver. His flick of you can be at the other end of the stage and instantly be behind the person with no penalty to your chakra, cost no chakra or anything to do. Go instantly to the person, be right behind them and instantly go into a combo or go into a jutsu without no frame break, nothing. No delay. And in a way that's cool but at the same time I hope he at least put somewhat of a delay after he appears right behind somebody because make that flick ability for normal Naruto without being into a in, uh, quick awakening can be a bit overpowered even Minato had to be in his awakening to do something like that and even I believe I sensei did as well so having this in a character that doesn't have to be in that state to do that, it can seem a little overpowering, I have to be honest. Um, that's enough about my rant about things that are overpowering. Here's some things that I am planning on doing once I get the game, because I already pre-ordered it. I have run into quite... I won't say quite a few, but I've run into a few people in the game who I would consider very salty. By that I mean they are very sore losers. <laughs> and I, I discovered something. People that rage quit are pretty much ruining the fun of the game. It doesn't matter if you want to lose, it just matters if you have fun. But if you want to rage quit and interrupt the entire match, that pretty much ruins the whole match for everybody. So I'm going to do a little experiment kind of as a service for not just the Naruto fighting community, but for the entire fighting community as a whole. As you can see in this picture that I'm giving you, my disconnection percentage is zero. I'm going to keep this at zero throughout my entire run on this channel and even beyond that because I would not believe in rage quitting. Now with every rage quitter I do come across, this is where my plan comes in. I will take a picture of every single person that rage quits or just becomes completely salty in the game and I will put them on, I don't know if I'm going to call it a uh, a uh, wall of shame, wall of salt, I don't know, I'll let you subscribers be able to name that wall. There's gonna be the wall of shame, wall of salt, wall of douchebaggery, whatever. I'll let you name that wall. I want you guys to be involved in some of the things in this channel. 
And I, I have to say, I'm really hyped and excited about this new Naruto game. It looks like CC2 has listened to a lot of things we've asked for. Um, next week, I will go further into detail as to my thoughts on the game, not just the demo, but everything they've showed us and everything that I see that they're improving on for the full game. This is just my quick review of the demo. Um, and that, that's it for my review of the demo. Now, some of you have seen my Twitter, I've seen that my goal for the rest of this year and next year is to finally make my channel big enough to where I can be partnered by a network. Maybe Curse, TGN, Makers Gen, or Machinima, whichever one. I want to try my hardest to make my channel bigger to the point to where I can be a partner. Not for the money, do not get me wrong, it's not for the money. I want to make it bigger so that I can spread my channel out to more people. And basically have my voice heard and have a bigger community in this channel and have everyone be a part of it. Everyone get their two cents in and uh, just spread my non-biased opinion on certain things. Um, I right now have 113 subs and I'm grateful for every last one of you guys that subscribed to me. So anyone, you know, watch this video, you like what, I, what I'm showing, you like all the things I'm bringing out. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button right below and you know, share the video with your friends and follow my Twitter and you'll be able to see all the new projects that I'm starting up or currently working on. So until next week guys, this is Dark Style's video and I am signing out.